man, in today's video, I want to talk about how some black women were triggered by the video and the statements that a German woman made about the black woman being no competition to her. Let's talk about it. Shalom. Thank you for tuning in to another Righteous Spirit-filled episode. Today I'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business. Man, shout out to all of the set-apart daughters of Zion that are fulfilling their biblical role to their husband. Shout out to all of y'all and you are the apple of his eye and you don't fight him and you know you are not uncooperative. Shout out to you because y'all get it. And not enough credit goes out uh, to the set apart daughters of Zion that don't conduct themselves like the majority, okay? Man, a lot of women are coming out making response videos. Man, a lot of women are coming out making response videos to the video that the German woman posted, the married German woman posted about how black women are no competition. And there was a lot of nuggets of truth in there that she said. And like I said, it doesn't pertain to all, but probably the majority, probably a, a good bit of women would, black women would be offended by the statements. And you're triggered for a certain reason. And I'm here to tell you to play your position play your position. It's like, I've said it before in my videos, there are women out there that get with a man and are part of his team. They become part of his team, okay? Then you have, you know, some black women that will get, his, get with a black man, act as if they wanna be on the team, but the whole time you're trying to set up your own team independent from his team. And here's something that I know. Man, if you do good quality work and you have good character and you fulfill your job description and your job duties, nobody's coming to take your job because you are an asset. See, a lot of women was triggered by her statements because you found out you was a liability and a man didn't want nothing to do with you. A black man didn't want nothing to do with you. See, black men have stood around long enough, silent, and over the time, we've picked up your hustle, we've picked up your game. Now we're discerning, like the word says, test the spirit in you. And you may be able to sell that uh, elsewhere, but you're not gonna be able to sell it to the masses elsewhere. There will be a uh, subtle nuance, you will be able to do that, and then a man uh, of another nation has no expectation of you. But let me tell you something. There's certain things that if you were triggered by that woman's video that you probably need to change about yourself. She told you what she was doing for her man to find joy in her eyes. Rather than you taking her telling you the truth, you was offended and there was many people in the Bible that heard the truth from the apostles, the disciples, the messiahs, the prophet, and were offended. So to the point where they gnashed their teeth and got mad. But she told you some subtle little things in there. You know, you probably, if you'd watched that video, if you would have had a positive response to it, you would have picked up the game that she was dropping. See, good athletes learn from great athletes. So this woman is clearly telling you she's excelling and she didn't tell, she wasn't even up here half naked. She was clothed, kicking game. She took it as a threat. She told you even if her man don't ask for it, she'll bring him a, food, uh, a bowl of food 
or a bowl of fruit just to see if he wants something to eat. Now, here's the thing. Go back and read Proverbs 31 about what the biblical wife is supposed to do, the biblical woman is supposed to do for her family. Up in the morning, you know, prepping food, making sure everybody's uh, got some food on their stomach. What you want to do? Lay in the bed, sleep, lay up on your ass. That's why you offended. You see what I'm saying? Good women, good black women, set apart women that handle their business at home were not offended by this statement. We're not offended by uh, the video that the German woman posted. I've lived in Germany for over three years. I know what time it is. And, and whew, let me tell you something. See, a lot of black women are entitled and lazy pertaining to fulfilling uh, your role in marriage, lazy to fulfilling your duties as a wife. I didn't say you was just all out lazy, but you got a, I deserve it all. I deserve the royal treatment, but yet you don't want to do anything. You know, there's video out there where a black man pretty much was asking his, his wife, how, how can she fix herself something to eat? He don't require her to work and she wouldn't even cook him no food. He can't even come on to her. That's, that's how you're being exposed. And a lot of you, like I said, you could have went in there and made your man a sandwich, you know, saw how he responded to it, threw a little bag of Lay's chips on the side of that sandwich, put it in front of him. But rather than doing the simple things that you should be doing, you got offended at her. Some of y'all got 15, 20 minute long videos about her being a heathen, a pale face, all of this. But she didn't do anything but pretty much outplay you at your game. You know, you saying these men ain't shit, all these black men is shit. All these black men is dogs. But nowhere in the word can you find it where a man is counted as a dog. But it does say a shameless woman shall be counted as a dog in Ecclesiasticus, the book of Sirach. So are you shameless or are you shamefaced it? See, shamefaced it, women wasn't triggered by this. Shameless women were. You're mad because this German woman who appears to be, who appears to be fit, feminine, and modest, for all these men that you didn't put back out here, she didn't scoop one up. You said he was a dog. She says he was a king and treats him like such. See, she has secured, she has secured and become an asset to that man. The problem is a lot of, a lot of women, not all women, but a lot of women get with a man and they are a liability. They're unhinged, rebellious, don't want to do anything. A lot of y'all women that was triggered, y'all prefer the man cook for you. And this is why these men, they, they be tired. You got They got to do all these man duties and then come home and try to uh, uh, appease you by doing what you should be doing. A lot of these men nowadays can cook better than women. But women will run the game. Oh, you the best cook. Oh, you the best. Oh, you know, that's why I really don't cook because, you know, he cooks so good. Wait till that German woman come along. Wait till another woman comes along. Y'all sitting up in there talking about why you don't have to do what you biblically should be doing. And that man going to be then went down the street and got himself something to eat. You know how that goes. And then, you, then you're mad. You see what I'm saying? I'm going to give you another one. All of these games uh, that women play behind conjugal rights, getting with a man, you you be you be you be all out there before you get married. Then you get married and start playing these games, start cutting it off, and don't think. See, that's why she was a threat. That's why she was a threat. He can, his heart can safely trust in her based upon her actions. Her actions was genuine and trustworthy. And this is like, I want you to think about uh, sports since y'all like to play a lot of games. Man, athletes from another team will get in the other player's head. But if you are a confident player, 
They don't get in your head. You just play the game and play it good. Win or lose. You play the game and play it good. A lot of black women were triggered, man. A lot of them uh, called themselves commandment keepers. Righteous daughters of Zion. I've even seen some of y'all make videos. You know, and it, and it shocks me because as a man, there's, there's things that if it's the duty of a man, then you're not going to trigger me by saying what you do in your house and I'm already doing what I'm supposed to do biblically. We either on the same page or you're dropping some nuggets and I'm picking up them nuggets and saying, man, I'm adding that to the toolbox. Definitely adding that to the toolbox. That sounds legit. That sounds right on. But women didn't do that. There's probably some women behind the scenes that, that took that took that nugget and said, man, I'm going I'm to take what she said and I'm going to run with it. I'm going to extract the wisdom that she's coming with and I'm going to run with it. Everybody else, a lot, a lot of other women that got out there and just made videos. Why they don't have to do it and use a pale face and use a heathen. See, that's what pissed them off. And Hezekiah said it the best in one of his songs. You mad because these heathens is worshiping your God. Woo! He said it the best. You mad because these heathens is worshiping your God. That woman, you got to think. The word says... You know, Sarah was counted as righteous. She obeyed her husband by calling him master. She obeyed Abraham by calling him master. So here you here you have a woman who is cooperative, meek, you know, modest. She didn't even get loud. She didn't even conduct herself in a ratchet way. She just she just said straight facts of what she was doing. You know, her man wasn't used to being nurtured, having a nurture woman. She didn't see, she didn't try to control him. She just nurtured him. That's the difference. I, I did a video about a year back. You gotta learn the difference between uh, nurturing and mothering. When you try to mother a man, he ain't gonna want you. A lot of y'all try to mother a man instead of uh, extracting that nurturing characteristic. And that's what's valuable. I tell you, man, if you play your position, you don't have nothing to worry about. It's when you ain't playing your position, you mad at the new recruit on the team. Hey, hey, you get a new recruit a hard time because they are a threat. That woman, I, if you was a, a lazy, uh, no good, rebellious woman, contentious woman, uncooperative, didn't want to do anything, that woman should be a threat to you. She's a married woman, but like she said, in her country, Family is very important. They don't get raised how you get raised to be lawless. So there's more of where she comes from. I've been over there. I've lived over there and I can tell you that, but you don't have to worry about it that you play your position. Play your position. It's the same thing on a job. You have to make sure you are not, when a job starts doing layoffs, you ain't at the, you wanna make sure you are above average. When a, when a company starts laying off, you don't want to be below average. You make it easy for them. Y'all done made it too damn easy. Too damn easy for these other women just to, just to pretty much feel bold enough to sit up and tell you about yourself. And you don't want to hear it. Here's another problem. You even have other black women that have now dedicated making channels to try to help other women understand their, dis their, their disillusion their delusion how you need to get it together you shame these women i make content you shame me but guess what you're gonna always stay triggered you're gonna stay shuffling these men can't can't not one of them uh, provide you no sense of security because it ain't worth securing that you ain't you you have nothing to uh deposit in the relationship I'm telling you man can't make this stuff up. I, I thought a lot more women would take the uh, the nuggets out of what she was saying. It's the same thing. Like I heard a brother say before, he said, man, I get my wife flowers even though she don't like them. And eventually he said, man, my wife grew to love flowers. He said it, it you know, uh, she knew she was well taken care of. It's all kind of stuff I've heard men say throughout my life that I've added to the playbook. 
I'm added to the playbook. You know, as a man, as a woman, you can give your partner they flowers while they're here, or you can be boohooing your eyes out at the at the at the at the at the graveside because you treated them like shit. Play your position. You ain't got nothing to worry about. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight. 